how you doing this morning? This is Keith Deal, Creativity Coach for Morning Cup of Keith. And today as we continue common struggles and into the topic of feeling unfulfilled, we're going to talk about know you better. And I know that sounds simplistic, but it's actually um, quite detailed in what you can do to get to know yourself better. So first thing you want to do is get started. When you get started in knowing yourself better, you want to ask yourself questions. And I think a lot of times we go through our life and we don't, we may just sit around and go, well, what do I like to do? What do I want to do? For the most part, we do know what we want to do and what we love doing. And so get to know yourself better that way. What makes you happy? I mean, do you like going for like a nice long drive somewhere to explore something different? You know, get out of that, you know, box of a, of a city that you're in and go explore another one. I mean, that might be something where you know, hey, I love doing that. I don't like just feeling like I'm doing nothing, you know, over and over again. And so consider that as being one of the things you can do to get started to know your, yourself better is what are things that you you love doing and you enjoy and it brings you it brings you joy, it brings you fulfillment. Get really clear on your values and your morals. What are those things for you? What are what do you value most? What what morality do you believe in? What are what are those things? And get really clear on that. Here's a big one. Set boundaries. And so that can be like people could be demanding of your time, they could be demanding of you know your money, they could be demanding of of um you know just a lot of different things. You know, maybe even your emotional state. There's people out there that are so miserable that they want to bring their misery into your world. And so set boundaries there. Set smart, smart goals. What are your goals for the day? You know, not just trying to figure out your week or your month or your year, but what are your smart, smart goals um, to give yourself protected time and establish your priorities. So both boundaries and SMART goals are something that, that you can do to protect and to, um, you know, put a, a perimeter on that. It doesn't mean that you're reducing your time to help people, but if you don't set those things up, you're going to be, you know, you're going to put yourself in trouble. <laughs> you're going to run out of time. You're going to run out of money. And you're gonna, you're not gonna have any priority time or any kind of thing you could do, um, because other things are demanding of it, and then that could really drain you, and um, make you feel, you know, like unfulfilled. Write down your goals and achievements for your overall, for an overall picture, and break break it down into dreams, goals, and actions. So, what this is. And this is a big one. I mean, this is like, this can get even bigger than what I just said. So write down your goals. Write down the achievements that you've experienced each day for an overall picture of what's going on in your life. And break down into, break everything down into your dreams, goals, and actions. So break that all down. Take a look at that. Step back and just take a look at what you're doing. Journaling is huge. Um, having a personal schedule book is huge. These are big things that you want to do. Create reasons to spring out of bed every morning. So what is your reason to get out of bed? <laughs> you know, a lot of times we just, after dealing with just a an hour in the morning, it could be really... You could just be defeated. You could just be like, oh, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> but if we don't set these things for ourselves, if we don't, we're not going to know who we are that well. Get to know yourself better. 
And this is where it's really helpful that you have somebody who's coaching you. And, you know, a mentor, you know, it could be a friend. A friend could do that, but, you know, they have a schedule too. And so coaches are set aside for you for this to be able to help get you, you know yourself better. Now, again, they're not going to do the work. You know, us coaches are not going to, are not going to be the ones doing this for you. You're going to make that discovery, but they'll guide you. And they'll tell you how to, how to play it all out, how to take action, how to get up and spring out of bed every morning and how to, um, you know, set up your, you know, your values, your morals. What do you like to do for fun? You know, um, you may know, or may, you may have been dragged around by somebody else who's you're doing their idea of fun and not your idea of fun. Protect your time, establish your priorities, set your boundaries, create smart goals. You know, write things down, journal, and you're gonna start to get to know yourself better. And that's that's a, a really big key in being able to unlock and being able to really f start to feel fulfilled again in your life. Thanks for watching this. If you like what I do, su subscribe, um, like and share, and um, and then um, hit the notification bell. So then whenever a new vet, uh, video comes up, you'll be able to know and be able to watch it. All right, take care. And I'll see you on the next video for another um, way to help feel how to how to get out out from feeling unfulfilled and to be feel fulfilled there we go all right see you in the next video